Hey guys, Sports Game Fever here with you. Uh, gonna do an NHL 19 franchise mode, GM mode, whatever you want to call it now. Used to be be a GM, now it's franchise, but uh, it's the same thing. <laughs> so we're gonna do the uh, Calgary Flames. I was scrolling through all the teams, uh, but I think we landed on Calgary as the one I want to do most. Uh, got they got some good young players like Gaudreau, um, but you know they're lacking they're lacking something so we're gonna we're gonna take a look here um so yeah let's uh let's jump into it uh keep the divisions the way they are um yeah i want to do make it owner mode um yeah we'll have firing on so if we don't do good then it is over um no uh not accept relocation um, all this looks good. Um, I'm going to put this on no. Um, yeah, I want to be the one creating a lineup. Um, oh, maybe it's gameplay players I want to go to. Um, yeah, just playable. Um, by the way, this uses the roster from, uh, the roster update from November 16th, because recording this, it's November 20th. Um, so I don't believe that has the Strom and Spooner trade. Um, but I think that's really the only thing it doesn't have, uh, Oh, wait, no, I want the game style the same. Where? Injury occurrence. Okay, so I'm going to keep injuries on, but I'm going to decrease the amount. I'm going to put it down to 20 uh, for both because um, I don't want to be interrupted every, like, three games and have to edit the lineup. Um, so we're going to go with that. That's really the only thing uh, that I don't like. Um, about the injuries, uh, I like that they're on, makes it realistic, makes it so you do have to have depth players, um, but not so much that you need to edit the lineup every single game, basically. Um, so yeah, let's start the career. Uh, yes, keep the cap on. And we'll let it do its thing. A long load, a long, long load. But here we are, almost. All right, here we are. So we're gonna start off this one by just uh, looking uh, at what our roster is looking like. So I'm just going to go to view contracts. We'll go to center. So we got Monahan, uh, which is a great first line center and he'll still improve a bit. So, uh, he's definitely a guy we're going to keep around a uh, good contract too. <clears throat> uh, Backland is someone I could part with, especially with that long of a contract at 29. Let's see, it's uh, this year, so 30, 40, sorry, what? <laughs> 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 30. So it's not up until he's 35. Um, so that'll be okay. He's at top six. Uh, he'd be like a second line. Yeah, his role's a second line forward. I think for this season it's good, but uh, I think we'll eventually trade him out, especially if we have a prospect that comes up. Jankowski is currently depth forward. Uh, potential is a top six. He's 24. I don't think he's going to get much better at that age. I think he'll eclipse 80. He might like reach 82. I feel like that might be his peak. So he'll be a good third line center, I believe. Uh, Derek Ryan, I'll, I can go without. Um, though we might need him this season. 
Uh, but I do not like that contract. We only have five mil in uh, cap space, by the way. Um, which is a, enough to work with uh, for trades. Um, looking ahead to the next season, it looks like we have 15.19. So 15.2, uh, basically. Um, Sam Bennett uh, is a guy who's going to be coming up. We might want to sign an extension with him. Uh, during this season instead of waiting for him to progress more and potentially want more. Um, let's look at in the system. Yeah, not too much going on in the system because these guys aren't going to get much better. Um, so centers, I think we need to eventually find a second-line center, even if it's a prospect that'll just grow into a second-line center. That could be Bennett, though. Um... So really just kind of looking for that third and fourth line center. Um, which both of these can be that. Uh, but, you know, I, I could see J uh, Jankowski, like I said, growing into that third line center. Uh, like an 82. Uh, as I've said, Derek Ryan I can part with and find another fourth line center. Because I do not like that contract uh, for such a low overall. Um, let's see, left wingers, Gaudreau, obviously, and Matthew Kachuk. Um, let's look in the system. Nothing doing there. Um, so Matthew Kachuk, it's going to say he's a second line. I really would rather him be a third line. Uh, but he is only 20 years old, so he'll grow into that, which is good. Um, so maybe just leaving him, you know, as a second line left winger uh, for this season would be good. Um, yeah, I think that's the way to go about it. Um, and in the system, not much going. So we need some depth, uh, at, uh, unless we just want to play these prospects up at 23, they'll get a little bit better. Uh, they'll probably get high seventies max. Um, so yeah, definitely. I think we're good in our top six on left wing, but we will need some depth if we want to complete, uh, let's see James Neal, um, Definitely a second liner. How long is that contract? Yeah, that's a that's a hefty contract right there. So we're gonna want to dump that at some point. Uh, Lindholm can be our second line right winger. Uh, so dumping Neil's contract will be important. I think he's gonna be the first to go. Uh, Frolik, uh, I can handle that contract even though it's a little high for 81 overall uh, for a third liner. Um, you know, I can handle that. Uh, so, Lindholm second, Froelich third. How's Hathaway? 26.75 overall. Not really liking it. He is a grinder, um, but still, I don't really like that. Let's look in the system. Lazar. Why wouldn't we just bring up Lazar? He is a fourth line role. Um, in fact, I'm going to do that right now. Oh, I'm in contract. So, I will bring Lazar up. Um, cause he'll get better. He might eclipse 80. Um, he probably will eclipse 80 if he plays good. Um, <clears throat> especially if he plays in the top nine, but, uh, eventually, but, uh, fourth line for now. Uh, so get rid of Neil, try to get a first line right winger would be the goal. Uh, someone who's younger, someone who can develop into that. Because uh, Lindholm is going to be a top six. He'll improve a little bit, but he won't be that, like, you know, like 87, 88 overall right winger that we're going to eventually want. Um, so that's something to consider. Uh, let's look at defensemen now. Giordano's good. How long is his contract? Okay, it's a tad long. He's 34. We're eventually probably going to want to get rid of that, unfortunately. Brody. Um, so Junior John is a top four. We got G Brody as a top four. Uh, Hannafin is a top four. We're going to hang on to him because he's going to develop well. That's a nice contract because uh, he'll probably be better than Giordano is right now. Uh, Hamannick, uh, top four. So defense is actually looking pretty good. Um, yeah, defense is definitely looking good, especially with Hannafin. Um, so yeah, I don't mind the defense, well actually, 
cover these guys. These guys are both top four. Uh, so defense is looking very good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Luckily, that's not something we have to really worry about. Uh, we don't have much going on in the system. I mean, maybe Kylington. Kylington? Yeah. Uh, or Killington. I don't know. Um, offensive defenseman. Not a bad contract, but only one year remaining on that. Uh, he might... I don't know. It depends on how much time he gets. We're going to probably try to get him uh, top minutes in the AHL. I think that's the best route. And last but not least, goalies. Mike Smith. So, he'll be expiring. He doesn't want an extension, it says. Um, so, I think we're going to have to try to find ourselves a goalie kind of right off the bat. Uh, you know, maybe trading Mike Smith at the trade deadline, um, getting a goalie prospect in return, or drafting one. Um, I think that's the route we're going to need to go. Um, so, yeah, that's the team. Um, so we're going to go to our trading block. So Giordano is on there. I don't mind keeping him on there. Um because ideally, it would be nice to get those younger top four defensemen playing. So, and he has good trade value right now. That is going to significantly decrease over the years. So, uh, Froelich will keep on there. His trade value isn't that much. Um, so, I think we're definitely kind of in rebuild mode. Uh, the defense, let me just show that defense again. So, I think Hannafin and Brody as our top two would be good. Uh, so if we get rid of Giordano, that would be nice. Um, so it's not really a rebuild of the defense. It is giving uh, Hannafin a year to improve. It is giving Anderson and Killington a year to improve. Um, but that's not really the rebuild. But what we want to do, I mean, Brody's young enough that if it ta and Hamannick for that matter, or they're both young enough that if it takes a year or two to, uh, for us to have a... Uh, playoff team or uh, a Stanley Cup contender because I don't really want to like you know make the playoffs and get out in the first round so um, I don't mind like trading Giordano I don't mind trading Neil uh, if even if that means we miss the playoffs I want to have a contender when we go into the playoffs it'd be nice to not necessarily tank but have a, uh, a lottery pick um, so we are going to put Giordano oh no Giordano's already on there uh, but we are going to put Neil's a right winger? Yeah. I'm going to put Neil up there. Uh, and we're going to put Smith up there while he has some trade value. Um, yeah, surplus is definitely our older players. I like to see that it's uh, saying that once. Um, you know, I will take current first round picks. Um, I think that's good. I'm not really worried about future picks right now. Um, so what I want for in terms of a goalie is I'd like elite or player role. Uh, I'll do any for their role, but I want their position. Uh, sorry, their potential to be up there. Uh, I want that medium. Um, so I think that's good. Well, let's see. Uh, yeah, the rule could be any, as long as their potential is high. So that becomes a starter to franchise goalie. Um, let's see, for defense, there's not... I don't really want defense. I think we can be fine with that, with the prospects we have. Um, and also, uh, drafting more prospects so uh i'm fine on defense um here we want first line forward on the right wing uh i wish yeah no i can't um but first line forward preferably under like 27 um i'll do any uh but with a very high potential. Um, so we lead to franchise. 
uh, forward. And the role is important. I don't care what their role is right now because we're not necessarily trying to win the cup right now. Um, but it'll be good for the future uh, to just have someone developing, um, potentially having being on our uh, our roster. But I don't want to limit it to like someone who's a first line forward now or someone who's currently a third line forward or a depth because uh, that really narrows the scope. So role is not a concern for me right now. It's more about that potential. Um, wait. Oh, no, that's a surplus. Um, didn't I delete? I guess that's fine, because it's looking for uh, prospects. I thought I deleted that, though, but uh, whatever. Um, so that's all set to go, so we'll see if we get some offers. Um, gonna keep the team as is right now, I'm not gonna really bring in any free agents. Um, I mean, we can look at free agents. Yeah, not much there. Um, Camilleri is the one a lot of people tend to go with. Uh, yeah, not much going on here, so, um, unless, uh... Organize it by age. Dude, I'm hitting the sort button. There we go. Uh, UFA here. Um, and no one really worth picking up. Um, Considering their potentials aren't that high. Um, Alright, so we're gonna... I'll just advance the day, because something's gonna come up. Yeah, view under goals. Uh, so we're hopeful. Really, I'd like to be a rebuild team. Uh, well, hopeful, I think, is actually a good category. Because our defense is good. We have some really good young players that will be on our first line and our second line. But we're not really you know, well-rounded out. And I think it takes us a year or two to really get to a place where we are considered a champion because uh, I don't want to just be considered a contender. I want to be considered uh, the state of the team as a champion. Um, but anyway, I want you to acquire one first round pick for the upcoming draft. Uh, so yeah, I'd like to do that through trade. Uh, Giordano can definitely net us one and then probably a prospect. Um, I want us to beat our rival, the Edmonton Oilers in our first meeting. Uh, hopefully that is doable. Um, I would like us to sell 75% uh, of our available season tickets this year. Um, I think that's doable as well, and we need more club seats, so upgrade it. I'll uh, have to remember to do that over the off season. Um Is it not going to have me allocate the budget yet? Uh, either way, I'll do a... Do a team meeting. Usually demanding tends to work for me, so let's see. Yeah, okay, so demanding is the way to go for every player here. Um, so, yeah, that'll be, uh, that'll be the way we uh, do it. I'm just going to keep advancing today because allocating the budget. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, we're going to have to look at the scouts we got. I'm going to put that up. That's something I haven't done yet. Uh... So we'll go over that in a minute. Uh, if we're going to upgrade the club seats, we're going to need... Uh, I like to... I don't care about promotions. I don't care about... Yeah. We're going to need to put a lot into the uh, arena options. Uh, operations. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Uh, save. Um... So I'll just sim to the regular season. Auto assign promotion lines, and then we'll look at the scouting. Um, I have a way that I've been doing the scouting, just like in my own uh, playthroughs of franchise. Um, we'll take a look at that. Uh, and kind of walk through the process of what I like to do, okay. Um, so what I like to do is, and we have a fair amount of, let's see, Russia, Liga, SHL, DL, USA East, USA West, so we could use the USA Central. Uh, we got all the, uh, Canadian leagues. We got all the AHL, we 
got all the NHL. So we could use a USA Central, uh, but that's not like necessarily very important. USA East is the biggest one uh, in terms of US prospects. West isn't that big, so we could actually just send this guy uh, to the Central, but I, I think we'll keep it as is for right now. Um, let's sort by overall. Um, so yeah, we're pretty good. These D minuses in the uh, Scandinavian and European leagues and whatnot uh, aren't that great, but uh, we can improve those in time. Um, so what I usually do for their assignment is I just let them do their thing at first. Um, I kind of let them monitor themselves. Um, like finding any players or just scouting these ones that they think are good to scout. And then by January-ish, or, or at least before the trade deadline, I go in and then I manage who they scout. Uh, usually just selecting like the top 150, 200 player, and that's central ranking, so not not within <laughs> that league, but uh, or that specific league that they're scouting, but more of the... Um, just the central scouting ranking. So I go up to 200 um, and try to get the potential of all of those players. And then that usually pans out and finds a couple gems and lets me um, kind of see what we really got. It, it scouts most of the players that I pick. In the seventh round, you kind of can take gambles. Um, and sometimes it uncovers someone, like, very late in the draft. Like, for some of those leagues, I can... Uh, like, for the Scandinavian leagues, for example, there's not necessarily um, a lot of, like, top 150 talent. So if you find someone ranked, like, past the seventh round who's probably not going to get drafted, uh, sometimes you find a gem or just, like, a, a player that has, like, a top six uh, forward potential or something, and those are good uh, to go with. So Smith is... I feel like the locker room is a dysfunctional family. We need to uh, shake up. It uh, doesn't matter who is talking to us. I'm going to uh, go with demanding. Uh, everybody likes that tone on this team, <laughs> which is funny. Um, all right, uh, so the season will begin. I'm not going to look at the preseason stats. Uh, let's look at the lines, though. That is something we're going to definitely need to mess with uh no i do not want your help so um yeah i guess we'll just play neil on the right wing for now chuck yeah i like i i like how this is uh this is good yeah and sam bennett on the fourth he's young but he'll get better he's a depth and he's getting uh fourth line minutes so i think you know like Going, like, one or two above what their role is, like a depth forward, it would go depth forward, fourth line, and you know, then third line. Um, so, like, two above isn't bad. I wouldn't want to play Janikowski on, like, the first line. That could potentially hinder his progression. Kind of want to play what their role is um, or just get close to it. Uh, defense, so we get Giordano, obviously. It'd be nice to move brody up but i mean he's ne not necessarily going to get much better so having hannafin up there is definitely uh the biggest concern uh i think that all looks good goalies uh, obviously we got smith and then riddich um <clears throat> let's go here gillies and parsons not necessarily very concerned um there who is the guy uh killington we kind of wanted to move up here um yeah definitely over some of these older guys and we'll do this too um because these are the younger ones uh there are other defensemen he's a minor top six um so maybe we'll just move that down we want killington to have a, a decent partner um yeah uh that's good and we get an offense i'm fine just kind of leaving the ah how it is and if there's injuries and i have to do <clears throat> best lines for the uh hl i don't mind doing that so i think we'll sim a month uh before we close out the video uh 30 minutes is good for these for me um or around that i might be editing them down and cutting out like this stuff in the middle uh, once in a while that's like a big load or um stuff like that um 
So yeah, we'll see how we do. I didn't look at what draft picks we have. Maybe I'll do that at the very end. Because uh, if we don't have our first or something like that, that would be concerning. Uh, or just kind of affect how we play. Uh, I'm a little worried we don't have our first now. Uh, we we probably don't now that I say it. Um, Backlog wants to meet. I have to admit, I've been underperforming lately. Yeah, the numbers are black and white, dude. And you're going to respond well to that. <laughs> um... Beat the Bruins. Uh, we'll just view the draft class real quick. Um, so, yeah, see, it just uncovers, like, when they're doing their own thing, it uncovers, like, some of them. It's not doing a lot, but if you just let them kind of monitor themselves, they get a pretty good idea of who is good, who is bad. Uh, by the time the trade deadline, trade deadline comes knocking. Um, okay, let's just, like, look at throw leak here. Um... That's decent for him. I'm going to decline that, though. And we'll just go through the rest of the month here. So we're 8, 5, and 0, oh, so that's not too bad. 18 points for Gaudreau. Uh, we're third in our division. Did I see that right? We're gonna just look at the individual stats first. Monahan and Gaudreau doing well. Uh, so that's important. Neil's not doing bad. Frolik is actually doing good, so keeping him around might not be the worst idea for now. Uh, shooting percentage for Gaudreau is 27.3. 23.5 for Monahan. Wow. Um... How's Hannafin doing? Good. Lindholm's not doing that great on the second line. Um, Hannafin doing decent. Uh, you know, he's only a minus one. Um, no goals. Couple assists. Uh, how much time? Let's uh, let's sort this by time on ice. Hannafin's getting a lot. He actually might be leading. Ah, uh, Giordano is leading, of course. Hamannik Brody. Um, Gaudreau's getting a fair amount. Neil's getting less, uh, but he might not be on special teams. I kind of let the special teams handle itself. We're actually kind of on best lines <laughs> for, uh, for the team right now. Um, but I think that's fine. It kind of makes the sim a little bit better. Um, and I kind of agreed with what they had, uh, the computer basically did. Um, so yeah, third in the Pacific, uh, tied with San Jose. Uh, one more win than them. Um, compared to the rest of the league, not bad. So we're actually competing here. Um, oh, and the last thing, I'm going to look and see what draft picks we have. So I don't necessarily want to tank, but I do want to trade our uh, older players, which will probably cause us to take a little bit. So we do have our first round, and then we have fourth and fifth. So we don't have much. We're going to want draft picks for sure. Um... So yeah, guys, uh, I think that's going to do it for now, uh, but we will move forward in this franchise, hopefully get through uh, and make some trades in the next episode. All right, guys, see you.